Carol and Stephen Baxter were secretly recorded by Luke DeWitt as they were poisoned with fentanyl in their own home. On Easter Sunday, on the 9th of April 2023, their bodies were found by their family. But there was no evidence of anything that had gone wrong. They both had just passed away, seemingly without any answers. In the initial days after the couple's death, the police explored a number of lines of inquiry to establish how Carol and Stephen had died. Carbon monoxide poisoning was quickly ruled out and there was no evidence to suggest that either of them had hurt each other. Several weeks later, toxicology results revealed that both Carol and Stephen had died as a result of lethal doses of fentanyl. A murder investigation was then launched. When the Baxter's home was thoroughly searched, the police found a number of items that were not there at the time of the death. These included fentanyl patches and also a false will. The will was only five pages long and it was a document that was held by Stephen and Carol's solicitors and it detailed how their dear friend Luke DeWitt would become the director of her company and also take control of most of their assets. As a result of learning this information, Essex police arrested Luke in July and the 34-year-old was subsequently charged with the two counts of murder. Luke, the reason we're here today is um, I'm going to have to arrest you um, and that's on suspicion of murder. All right, as part of a police investigation, you've been identified as being a suspect in relation to the deaths of Caroline and Stephen Baxter, 27th to 9th of April, 2023, all right? Okay. Hi, I'm, I'm Luke, I'm, I'm a friend. But just right. Me okay. Okay. right, are you with the patient now? They are there. Right. How many people require help, just to confirm? Two. Two, right. He even went on to give a really comprehensive, false account to officers at the scene, which was captured on body-worn video. So I literally ran from home to, to here to come check to here. Okay. And, and just it, as I got here, they just smashed the back window to get in. To get in. Okay, fair enough. During the investigation, we identified that Luke DeWitt had created uh, numerous personas, all completely fictional, over 20. And these personas he used to, uh, to control Carol and Stephen Baxter uh, into believing that they were ill, uh, and, and ultimately were used on the, the final day, we believe, uh, that led to their death. During the investigation, police and staff pieced together the build-up to the death of Carol and Stephen. Luke DeWitt had become involved with the couple in 2014. He worked for Carol and he had been introduced for a mutual friend. He was an IT consultant for Carol's business. He then established a relationship with the couple and he also started to help her with her medical diagnosis by trying to introduce her to doctors that never existed. Over the course of several years, Luke took on 20 personas and one of them was an American doctor called Andrea Bowden. He would communicate via text and email and he was meant to be a specialist in the disease that Carol suffered with. And through the communications, he told her that her illness had gotten worse and that she was basically going to die. But in actual fact, Luke was going to poison them with fentanyl. And to my knowledge, this is the first ever case in the UK that I've covered of this being used to murder people. Luke would go to drastic lengths to be able to lie and be deceitful to the couple. He would also put on voices where he would mimic a, a woman's voice and communicate via voice notes with Carol. Hi Carol, it's Jenny. It's Cheryl's sister. Yes, oh, it's so nice to finally speak to you after all these messages we've been doing. We uh, identified that a will had been created which DeWitt stood to benefit from. Investigation showed that this will was fake and indeed another persona that DeWitt had created was a solicitor who was involved in uh, constructing this will. When DeWitt was arrested, the police found fentanyl patches also and he said they belonged to his late father and he later changed his statement to say that they belonged to his grandfather. Police found a bag containing a number of metal tacks that was encased in pill casings. The police strongly believed that this was a previous attempt to try to kill Carol. When she went to hospital, they discovered tacks inside her stomach after x-rays. On the 7th of April 2023, Luke DeWitt was the last person to see Carol and Stephen alive and he left her house shortly after 6pm. The police now know that he administered a fatal dose of fentanyl and he also set up a camera to keep track of their death and monitor them. 
During the court trial, Luke had said that Stephen, Carol's husband, had been part of the conspiracy and he had also created the fictitious names and also the doctor and it was all in order to try to make her question her mental health. But when he was cross-examined, the story fell apart and the prosecution and the defence both agreed that Stephen was not a part of the conspiracy. After a six-week trial at Chelmsford Crown Court on the 20th of March 2024, Luke was unanimously found guilty of murder of Carol and also Stephen. He was sentenced to 37 years this week. The family said that Luke has ruined their lives forever and the family was torn apart. He did this all to just get money and our life will forever be punctured by our family not being together. Our mother and father were the rock of our family. The detective in charge of the case said this was a significant and also unique investigation and we cannot forget the devastating impact this has had on the family of the victims. Luke was a very deceitful person and his only objective was to try to get the money that he wanted from them both. Today, Luke DeWitt has been given a life sentence and will serve a minimum of 37 years in jail. However, it is simply impossible to put a number on the lives of Carol and Stephen. They were loving, generous parents and they helped they touch lives of many. They are entering a period in their lives where they should have been able to enjoy precious time with their grandchildren. They should have been planning holidays, looking forward to spending Christmases with family and living their lives to the full. Luke DeWitt took all that away in April 2023. He tried to cover it up. He went to great lengths to blame others who we know were not involved in any way. He clearly enjoyed the control he exerted over people, especially Carol and Stephen. Ultimately, the only person in this world who knows why he did this is Luke DeWitt and he has proven time and time again to be a manipulator. What we do know is the significant sentence handed down is entirely fitting for the pathological liar that he is. For almost a year, we have been determined to secure justice in its entirety, and today marks the conclusion of one of the most complex investigations undertaken at Essex Police. 37 years in prison is a significant time, and there will not come a point where he has spent more than his life in jail than not. Today, though, it's not about Luke DeWitt. It's about Carol, Stephen, and it's about their family. We know nothing will bring Carol and Stephen back. We know nothing can give the family back their loving mother, sister, and grandmother, or their generous father, brother, and grandfather. However, I truly hope this sentence is of some comfort to the family. Thank you. So really appreciate you joining me for this story and rest in peace to Stephen and Carol Baxter. And I really want to hear what your thoughts are. And please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.